Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, determine the components at A, B, and C. First, we'll draw the free body diagram of member AB. At both A and B, there is a pin, so they'll both have X and Y components. Next, we'll find the base and height of the triangle formed by member AB, as well as the distance from the 100 pounds force to point A. This will help us calculate the moment about point A later on. The base of the triangle can be found using the given angle and length of member AB, which results in 5.66 feet. The height of the triangle is found the same way, and equals 5.66 feet. The horizontal distance from point A to the 100 pound force is found in a similar way, where the hypotenuse is now 4 feet instead of 8. This results in a distance of 2.83 feet. Next, we'll take the moment about point A. We get the following equation which has two unknowns. We can't solve this equation just yet, so we'll isolate it for bx and put it off to the side so we can use it later. Then we'll draw the free body diagram for member bc. At both b and c there is a pin, so they'll both have x and y components. Next we'll find the base and height of the triangle formed by member bc, as well as the distance from the 100 pounds force to point c. This will help us calculate the moment about point c later on. The base of the triangle can be found using the given angle and length of member BC, which results in 10.4 feet. The horizontal distance from point C to the 100 pound force is found in a similar way, where the hypotenuse is now 8 feet instead of 12. This results in a distance of 6.93 feet. The height of the triangle is found the same way as the base and equals 6 feet. Next, we'll take the moment about point C. We get the following equation, which has two unknowns. We can substitute bx in this equation for the equation we previously found. Isolating the resulting equation for by gives 24 pounds. We can plug this value back into the equation we defined for bx, and we get that bx equals 74 pounds. Taking the sum of vertical forces gives that cy equals 76 pounds. Taking the sum of horizontal forces gives that Cx equals Bx, which is 74 pounds. Moving back to member AB, we will follow the same process. Taking the sum of vertical forces gives that Ay equals 124 pounds. Taking the sum of horizontal forces gives that Ax equals Bx, which is 74 pounds. And there you have it, quick statics answers.